What's going on guys? In my first time doing Try Goth video, I said that if that video did well, I would make it into a series into trying different goth looks and goth makeup looks. And I think that video did pretty well on my channel. So here I am again. We're going to be trying a different style of goth makeup today. Today we're going to be attempting to try romantic goth makeup. So for what I've seen with romantic goth makeup, I looked at a few makeup examples, a few outfit examples, and I looked at a few videos of people doing it. And from what I've seen, it's relatively more subtle than trad goth makeup. It doesn't usually include dramatic eyeliner, the complexion of your skin. It's not really like a super white base it's more of a fleshy toned base and i noticed that in a lot of makeup looks it incorporates a lot of red red in the eyeshadow and red lips and stuff like that so we're going to be incorporating all of that into this makeup look today so i'm really excited to see how it turns out so without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video okay so before we jump into the makeup we obviously have to prime first so um i use this the elf power grip primer but i noticed that when I use it, I get an oily T-zone super bad when I wear makeup, and I noticed that this primer makes my T-zone extra oily. So I'm still going to be using this, but to minimize the oil in my T-zone, I forgot I had this, but I have the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer that, when I put it on, literally just mattifies, mattifies my skin the way I want it to be. So I'm going to be using this primer on my T-zone, and then on the rest of my face, I'm going to be using this primer. Okay, so now that I've primed, we're going to go ahead and jump right into the complexion part of this video. So, like I said, most of the videos I saw, the complexion of Romantic Goth, like the foundation part, is usually more fleshy toned rather than just pale white. But I saw a lot of people talking about this LA Girls Pro Coverage High Definition Foundation in white. And people said it was really, really good. And I wanted to try it for myself. I'm not sure how it's going to look on my skin. But I'm willing to take that risk because I just want to see how it is and how it's going to look. I did see a couple of people do like a really pale white uh, base, but a lot of people didn't. So I'm just going to take a risk today and see how it turned out. And I also haven't tried it out beforehand. So this is my first time using it on camera. So I don't know how it's going to look. So we're just going to jump right in and see what it looks like. Okay, so very white as I anticipated. Also, I haven't worn foundation in so long. I used to wear it when I first started wearing makeup and I stopped because one, I didn't really like how most foundations felt on my skin and also I just felt like I didn't really need it. So I don't know what I'm doing right now because I haven't worn foundation in a very long time, but we're just going to see what happens. Okay, so I have... A good amount on I think and I'm gonna go in with this brush I think it's a foundation brush like an ang angled foundation brush um, and I'm just gonna spread it out and then after that I'm gonna go in all of my beauty blenders I had a bunch of beauty blender beauty blenders before I don't know where they are and the ones that I do have are dirty so I'm gonna have to go in with this one of these triangular sponges and kind of just uh, smooth it out This foundation also has an interesting smell. It smells like raisins. <laughs> That's like the way it smells to me. I don't know. Like it smells sweet, but not in like a fruity or like a pastry type way in like a raisin way. <laughs> okay, so so far it's kind of looking how I thought it would. It's kind of looking like the way it did in my last video. And in my last video, I said if I ever did this again, I was going to try and find better makeup. And this is me trying. So I'm a little scared, but... I'm gonna trust the process and hope you do the same <laughs> okay <laughs> so it took me a little while to blend that out and so far it's not looking promising but I'm still asking you to trust the process so I'm gonna add just a little bit more and then I'm gonna go in with this to blend it out so in my last video I did ask for tips about how I can make my base better and someone did give me a tip. I'll put their comment right here and they said it'd be better if I used a sponge to like pack on the layers of white and then like go over with the powder that I had. So I'm going to try that today. It looks like we're just going to be doing like a white base. I'm kind of okay with that but you know we'll see how this goes.
Okay, so it literally feels like it took me forever to do that, but um, I'm done blending it out. It looks so much better than the last time I tried. It still looks a little patchy, but I haven't added my powders yet, and I'm thinking that's going to help it smooth it out even further, but the technique that the person gave me in that comment did work, so thank you so much for that tip. Um, it doesn't look as streaky as the last time, and it definitely looks a lot smoother. So now I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder, and I'm going to be using this mini, like, powder puff i ordered some powder puffs and they haven't arrived yet so i'm kind of sad i thought they were going to be here in time for this video but they are not obviously so i'm going to be going in with this mini powder puff and my powder and i'm just going to try and set this foundation really want to focus underneath my eyes so that i don't get a lot of creasing under there so now i'm just going to go in with a brush this is a bigger brush this is a blush brush but i'm going to use it for this and i'm just going to still go in with the powder and kind of just dust it all over just to set my entire face okay so i'm really thinking this base is looking a ton like so much better than the last time obviously you can still see my skin tone peeking through a bit that's just because this foundation is of course not my shade but still i think it looks pretty good so far so for the last step for the complexion just to kind of set everything in i am going to go in with the white powder that i got from spirit halloween and just kind of try and get a little bit more pigment out of this base so i am really really loving how this base has turned out so far it is looking so much smoother so much more just like set in place than the last time i tried so obviously we're learning things and thank you so much for everyone who gave me tips because they are definitely working so now that is done the complexion is done now we're gonna move on to brows now i noticed that in romantic goth makeup eyebrows are usually thinner as you can see my eyebrows are like thin but not like as thin as they usually have them so i'm gonna try my best to make them as like thin as possible but since my eyebrows are kind of just like this they're probably gonna end up the way i usually have them so we're just gonna try and see so since i want my eyebrows to be a bit darker this time i am going to be going in with this is actually eyeliner but um i use it as like for my brows sometimes um and it's pitch black so it's gonna make my eyebrows super dark which is what i want so I'm going to go in with this angled brush and we're just going to go in, get some product on the brush and then kind of sharpen it up with my fingers so it's very thin. I'm just going to go in and try to make these brows as thin as possible. Okay, so for some reason that product isn't coming off on my brows well. Um, so I'm switching to my Wet n Wild Multi Stick and I'm just going to use that as the product for my brows. That's our first brow, and honestly, I'm not mad. It looks pretty thin. Honestly, not as thin as it's supposed to be, but as thin as I can get it, and I'm honestly kind of proud. Okay, so these are the brows. Honestly, I'm okay with these. They're not as thin as they're supposed to be, but I'm kind of... I'm kind of in love. I kind of love them. I feel like my normal brows are usually a little bit blockier. They're like 2016 brows, because I've never done my brows any other way except that way, so... I'm not carving them out because I don't want to ruin the white complexion, but this is pretty good, I think. It's not thin, but it's as thin as I could get them with my natural brows, so I'm okay with that. Okay, so now we're going to move on to eyeshadow, which is the part I'm very afraid about. So I had two makeup ideas or eyeshadow ideas in mind. I'll put them up on the screen right here. Um, like I said, the eyeshadow looks usually incorporate red in romantic goth makeup, so that's what we're going to be doing. And I want to do something in between these two. I might choose one over the other, but these are kind of the vibe that I'm going for. So to achieve this look, I'm going to be using two eyeshadow palettes. So I'm going to be using my Twilight makeup palette that has a bunch of reds and burgundies in it, which is exactly what we need. And then I'm going to be using my shade light palette for the black because this black in here is just so pigmented. Like it's the best black eyeshadow I have. So we're going to be using those two today. So we're going to go out with the red first, which is very scary, but we're going to do it. So I think I'm going to go with, I don't think I want to go with this bright. I don't think I want to, Jesus, I don't think I want to go with this bright red. I kind of want it to be a darker look because I think my lip is going to be a little bit darker. It's still going to be in the red family, but not 
so much as like a bright red you know so okay wait change of plans so i'm thinking i want to do like kind of an ombreish effect going across so i'm thinking i'm gonna start in my inner corner with the brighter red and then kind of fade into that burgundy and then on the outer corners i'll do a black i think that's what i want to do don't know how i'm gonna do it but we're gonna you're gonna come with me okay so we are gonna start with the brighter red which is pulse and I'm gonna put that in my like inner corner lid. I also have hooded eyelids, so that's why I'm a little bit more nervous, but just gotta go with it, man. Just go, just go with the flow. Okay, switching brushes, because I literally hated that brush that I was using. I thought it would be a little bit brighter, but I'm not mad, honestly. So there's our starting point. So now I'm gonna go in with the lion and kind of just ombre it out and like kind of blend it in the middle with that red. Did I also mention that I don't know how to do eyeshadow at all? I don't know if you could tell. Okay, so that's a start. I think it's kind of beautiful. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go on with a fluffier brush. Um, this is the part that I am scared about. So I think I'm gonna take this black eyeshadow and I'm going to put it on my outer like corner of my eye and bring it over the red to kind of give it like an overhood. I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm, I'm going to do that and see how it looks. Okay, maybe I'm delusional, but I don't think that looks half bad if I do say so myself. Someone tell me I'm not delusional and that this looks kind of good. Am I just trying to gaslight myself? I don't know. I might have been a I might have went a little overboard. Cause I said that romantic goth was supposed to be more subtle. I might have I might have messed up. But we're just gonna keep going. So I'm still gonna do the same thing that I do when I do my waterline with black, but then I'm gonna go in with red and kind of do a little bit underneath so that it you know what I'm trying to do? You'll you'll just see. I don't know how to explain it. okay like so i'm actually gonna go in with a different palette for the under eye i'm gonna go in with this jewels palette and i'm gonna use the red in here this one for my under eye i'm not really sure if that turned out the way i wanted it to but we did it now so I'm not quite sure how to feel it's it's i don't know I don't know <laughs> so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do the other eye off camera and then i'm gonna come back and show you what i did i might try to like clean this up a little bit to make it look a little bit better i don't know but i'll be back when both eyes are done okay i'm back <laughs> so this is the finished eye look honestly i did a lot more than i thought i was gonna do but i kind of love it i think it's pretty good for my first try like obviously this is my first try but I think the black is a little overpowering. Like, I think I wanted the red to show through a little bit more. But honestly, that's also because I have hooded eyes. So I do this, you can clearly see the red. But like, when I close my eye, you can only see a little bit of it. But I think it's pretty good. I kind of like a raccoon, but I'm hoping as I go on, it will look a little better. Next, we're going to do lips. So I'm still going to outline my lips in black. Use my black lip liner. And then I'm going to fill in the middle of my lip with red or a deeper red of some sort so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do that okay so this is my outline lip in black so i had three options for lip colors so a lot of the lip colors i saw were a lot of brighter reds not necessarily like a bright cherry red but just lighter reds but i honestly think my complexion looks better with deeper like burgundy tones so i had three options they're all pretty much relatively the same shade um some of them are mattes i think all of these are matte actually i'm thinking i'm gonna go with this one this one is maybelline new york in 112 composer i think i wore this to one of my like homecomings i'm not sure but i haven't worn it in a long time and i don't really remember what it looks like i'm actually gonna swatch it so it's you can see the red tints in there but like it's really really deep but that's what i want so I think I'm gonna use this one because I do like this one. Okay, I love that honestly. It turned out exactly the way I thought it was going to and I love it. Oh my God, I love it. I think it goes perfect with the the eye. 
So now, I know big lashes are a big part of like goth makeup, but I personally don't wear lashes. I have lashes, but they're not big, so I think I'm just going to go with mascara. So, I'm going to do my regular mascara routine, which is these two. I use this one first for length, but it's in brown, so I have to go over it with a black one, which this one is the e.l.f. Lash It Loud. Both of these are really good. I do recommend these for um, mascaras, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do my regular mascara lash routine a few moments later okay <laughs> so i basically just ruined my freaking makeup because a lash tried to get in my eye um <laughs> so yeah this looks really bad i'm gonna try and fix it real quick because i'm honestly really upset because it was looking really good but okay stand by <laughs> crisis has been averted that was super freaking scary um but now we can get back to our regularly scheduled program okay everything is going wrong i'm trying not to get mad that's mascara on my face um <laughs> i'm gonna accentuate my beauty marks i have a few beauty marks on my face and i think it would look really good with this look i made them bigger than i wanted to but whatever okay so i think i'm finally finished with the makeup this is the finished look i'm really happy with how it turned out aside from all the complications we had but the base for some reason looks a little patchier now than it did when i started but i think it's fine like as it is it's a lot better than the base that i had in my last video so i'm really happy with this i think it turned out really really good so like in my last video i'm gonna go and put together an outfit to kind of go with this makeup look and i will be back to show you the finished look Okay guys, so the finished look is done. I have the outfit, the makeup, the hair, so it gets ready. I'm actually really impressed with how I pulled this off, um, and I hope you guys like it. Okay, so ready? Reveal in three, two, one. Oh my god, I'm obsessed is not the word um so as i was putting this outfit together i was wondering if it was giving more like victorian goth than romantic goth but from the pictures i looked at i feel like this is pretty spot on it might give a little bit victorian but i'm okay with that so i'm gonna give you the rundown of my outfit and like where i got everything from dress this dress is from sheen i got this dress a long time ago i got it for one of my homecomings I'm not sure if it was for middle school or high school, but that's where I got the dress from. This corset is from Spirit Halloween. I wore this corset with my Halloween costume last year. These lace sleeves actually came with this dress, and I almost forgot I had them until I was looking through my sock drawer and I saw them, and I literally thought they're perfect for this look. So the skirt, so this dress actually doesn't come down all the way in the front. It's one of those dresses that are short in the front and droop in the back but i didn't want my legs to be exposed because most of the time in goth fat goth fashion um everything is covered so i put on this velvet skirt that i thrifted from goodwill um and it went perfectly because this dress is like a velvety material also the dress i don't know if you can see but it has like lace ends which i thought was so perfect and so cool shoes are my creepers that i got from the demonia website i love them so much they go perfectly with this outfit and for hair i decided to do one of the um hairstyles that i showed you in my last video which was the six alternative styles for braids so i did the two braids going back and then i crossed them in the back and uh pinned it up with a claw clip so it kind of looks like this i wish my braids were a little bit more like bigger like poofier but it i think it looks fine so yeah this is the entire outfit i'm honestly really impressed with how this look turned out obviously this is my first time doing like romantic goth makeup so it's not gonna look perfect i think the eyes could be a little bit better but for the most part i think they're okay um the lip i'm literally obsessed with i think it's perfect um and just everything just turned out oh and my necklace my necklace is from sheen it came with a set of necklaces but i think this one just goes perfectly with the look so yeah, this is the entire romantic goth look. I am obsessed. I think I did really well. I think the base turned out a lot better than it did the last time I tried to do goth makeup. It obviously still needs improvement, but I think it's a big jump from the last time. So yeah, 
this is the entire romantic goth look. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment down below on how you think I did and if you have any more tips and tricks of how I could make this better because I think it turned out pretty well, but obviously everything could use improvement. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!